Hello and welcome back to another video. Now, as most of you know, I've been playing mobile games for a long while, and I've seen the market adapt and become what it is today. I mean, I wasn't there at the conception of Critical Lumps, but I did start playing around PUBG Mobile's release. And so far, mobile gaming hasn't really proved itself to anyone. I think 2021 is the year that changes, and that's why I want to make this video to bring your attention to all the new confirmed and possible additions to the mobile market. So without further ado, let's begin. Twenty twenty saw the release of new new AAA titles, one of them being Eagle Defense Wild Rift, which for those who don't know, Wild Rift is the console and mobile adaptation of the famous MOBA esports title for PC League of Legends. The other title though, that was the F2, a game that spiked a lot of people to ask the question on why Ubisoft hasn't decided to make Rainbow Six Siege Mobile already, especially after seeing how popular AF2 became within the 33 day global lifespan, in which the game was downloaded a whopping 4.2 million times, with most of the downloads coming from lower income countries such as Brazil and India. But why am I mentioning AF2? Well, apparently Ubisoft created a job listing asking for people with the required skills to make a AAA mobile experience, which means that Ubisoft could be bringing Rainbow Six Siege to mobile devices in order to capitalize on the hole in the market for tactical CQB games. But like I mentioned, there are other games that are going to possibly be released in 2021, among which the only claim that F2, which would have to compete with Strike Team Online and War and Arms. But moving away from CQBs and to something more fast paced and high tech, Apex Legends was indirectly confirmed by Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson, who stated that for the first quarter of 2021 they are playing a soft launch which with most mobile games means an open beta. I could go on and on about the news of Apex Legends Mobile, but the thing is I don't really know it that well so I'm just leave the official Apex Legends Mobile community discord server in the description let you guys sift through all the information and read for yourselves. Like I mentioned before, 2020 saw the global release of League of Legends World Drift, which is Riot's first mobile release, but that might soon change with Valorant Mobile. And for those who don't know, Valorant is a competitive 5v5 team based FPS, which consists of elements inspired by Counter Strike Global Offensive and Overwatch, something which could easily fit into the art style of mobile gaming. But how do you know that this game is coming to mobile with the likely year for an official announcement being 2021? Well, we have these photos. And also this. So let me explain. The first photo are some data mine codes that have been found in the official PC version of Valorant, which detail mobile actions, if you can call them that. I'm not really sure for the official terminology. But the second photo are mobile controls appearing on touchscreen laptops, which means the fact that uh, Red Games has already been developing mobile controls and the files are contradicting with the PC version. And on a separate note, uh, Red Games Studio uh, has been talking about uh, 5G and what that could mean to gaming on Twitter, so if you want to go follow him, I'll leave his uh, link in the description and you can go check him out and while you're down there you can also follow me on twitter oh that's something you could do another AAA title with the probability of being announced in 2021 is called the warzone mobile but i'm not going to talk about that game as much concerned the only information we got about it was the job listing by activision but considering how many elements of Warzone are being ported in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale, chances are we're not going to get a full-fledged standalone Warzone. As we move to a new year, we're hopefully going to see more full-fledged PC games being ported into mobile devices, and as such, the mobile platform gaining more respect and growing amongst the gaming community. And maybe, just maybe, we will stop giving us weird looks when we say we're mobile gamers. But with all of that out of the way, this has been Kiddo uploading finally and also don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff as we're hardly, hardly trying, trying hard to reach 1000 subscribers and hopefully get monetization. Anyway, uh, hope you all have a wonderful next 24 hours. This has been Kiddo signing out. Oh yeah, but I forgot, uh, please leave in the comments which game you would like to see being announced in 2021. But with all that, the way this has been Kiddo, signing up. See ya!